Well, good day once again, and welcome to this edition of the Business Profile on TV3. I'm Dave Owney, and we're happy to be visiting with Joe Irby today. We're at the Joe Irby Law Office. Back well, again for, for more fun with TV3. Welcome, welcome. Now, you've been uh, in the law business here in Detroit Lakes for how long? Oh, boy, let's see. In Detroit Lakes, I started in uh, 2012, so uh, just, just cracked my two-year anniversary oh, in okay. business here, and things are... Are going well and okay, well. and pretty busy and congratulations on that. Uh, you're located on the second floor of the First Security Bank building in town. Yep, beautiful view toward the post office and and uh, uh, the sun is shining as we film this today. So uh, a, a nice visit with with you here, Joe. Well, sure. Yeah, so. we get to overlook uh, beautiful downtown Detroit Lakes. Yeah. Tell us about your practice. What kind of law are you involved with? Well, I do a lot of, I mean, general practicing stuff. Uh, so uh, if somebody comes in and wants a will done, I'll do that. If somebody gets uh, in trouble with the law, I'll, I'll defend them on those charges. If somebody wants a real estate deal done, I'll uh, take care of that for them. If somebody wants uh, a business, you know, something done with business, I'll take care of that for them. Um, stock transfers, business incorporations, business setups, uh, LLCs, S-Corps, you know, I'll, I'll come in and explain the advantages or disadvantages to setting up each entity like that. So uh, I do a, a, an awful lot of business law and, and real estate and uh, some estate planning stuff. Mm -hmm. As society changes, it seems like a lawyer is more and more a regular part of, of daily lives. It, it used to be where someone would say, well, my attorney is, and, and you, you, you stop to think about that. It, it wasn't that long ago where a lot of people maybe didn't have regular contact with an attorney, but now it's almost a necessity on a regular kind of basis. It is. It, it, it really is. I see it an awful lot just because there are so many formal procedures just to do anything anymore. Um, the common layman just he well, needs someone <laughs> to cross his T's, dot his I's, and, and just to make sure. Well, absolutely. And even if even something as simple as like selling a house, there are so many hoops you have to jump through and so many certificates you have to file with the county, with uh, uh, you know your township, and, and so many things you have to make sure that you get done um, if you're going to, I mean, sell your house, whereas back in the old days it was here's the keys, sure, and <laughs> not anymore. So um, it's, uh, I mean, it is getting kind of challenging and complex out there, and 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 that's why uh, sometimes seeking the advice of an attorney is very beneficial to people. The smallest uh, thing to overlook can sometimes just put a huge wrench in into something. Oh, absolutely, and and. Uh, one of the areas that I see this happen a lot in is um, contract interpretation. And a lot of times you'll, you'll have somebody come in and, and say, well, I think that under the uh, terms of this contract I can do this, that, and this, and that. And I'll look at it and say, well, you know, you really can't do this, that, this, and that. Or they'll say, these people are trying to tell me I have to do this or that. And I'll, I'll look at it and say, you know, this is subject to multiple interpretations here, so I don't think you have to do this or that or whatever they're telling you to do. So that's why it is good to, to get a second opinion or, you know, especially when you get into a situation where there's a lot of fine print in a document or something. Uh, and, and they have all that legalese that just goes around and around. Sometimes it's nice to have somebody who can sort that out for you. Sure. Now I'm guessing that a will is kind of one of a, a, a person's first contacts with a lawyer. Is that maybe right? Um, yeah, it, it usually is. Um, it's it's always a good idea to have a will mm -hmm. done, or sometimes I would even say like a. a trust document or a, a living trust, okay. uh, do something like that to protect your assets. Okay. And it's a great time to get it done. And that's just one of the many services that you can provide for your clients here. People have questions regarding particular issues or their individual situation, contact you. Absolutely. Right. The Joe Irby Law Firm right here in Detroit Lakes. 
uh, observing its second uh, anniversary, moving into its third year in, in practice here in town. Looking forward to working with you. You're located at the First Security Bank building. Top floor. Second floor, a beautiful view. Stop by. Joe, thanks for, for joining us here thank this you, afternoon. Thank you, Dave. And thank you for watching the business profile right here on TV3.